Greetings everyone, this is V from Happy Gut, Happy Life. Okay, today I want to demonstrate how how I make egg roll wraps from scratch. This is my first ever egg roll from scratch. Typically I would buy it from the store, but I prefer to make it. It tastes so much better. So initially we're going to just add the salt to the um to the flour uh we're going to use two cups of flour use salt to taste and we're going to use hot water hot water and what the hot water does is is helps to inhibit the protein in the dough so when we f go to fry the uh, the egg rolls you won't get as many bubbles you know, unless you like bubbles in your egg roll, then um, your egg roll wrap, then you can cold water be fine. Um, so that's basically what the hot water does, you know. And you're just gonna roll it for about, uh, knead it for about six minutes to help um, activate the, the gluten, help to activate the gluten protein in the, in the dough. So that's 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 the purpose of kneading it, because our egg our egg wraps are going to be very very thin, and we need that gluten to hold it together. You know, we don't want it falling apart when we go to stuff it without filling. So, and that's basically what the gluten does, and so. After we roll it for six minutes, we're going to put it in, uh, let it rest for about 30 minutes. We're going to let it rest for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to um, roll it out some more. We're going to knead it some more for another six minutes. So I guess maybe a total of 12 minutes of kneading. If you are inspired by this video, please give a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to grow and provide valuable information and valuable recipes to help us generally to better our health and our well-being on this journey in life. And after the second roll for six minutes, this is how we want, this is what we want. We want the dough to look really smooth and just, you know, really nice smooth ball. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it into four parts and we're gonna go ahead and work with the first part. Um, we just wanna roll it into like a biscuit type or like a flatbread type and just roll it. I mean, yeah, just roll it. Typically when I roll my dough, I work from inside out. I work from the inside out and just get a, try to get a perfect circle. And this, since this is a uh, egg roll wrap, egg roll wraps are very thin, I mean really thin. And you want your wrap, your egg roll wrap to, you don't want it to taste like, you know, dough. You know, that's not the, that's not the goal. The goal is to taste like a, a thin wrap, <laughs> you know. Um, what I'm using is, um, I'm using, I have egg rolls as a store-bought piece of egg roll wrap that I'm using as a template. I'm going to basically uh, cut around it. So I was just using it as a template. And just, you know, filling it and checking out, make sure that the egg roll wrap that I'm making is kind of like matches the egg roll wrap that's for from 
the store. It may not be to the, you know, 100%, but it's, it's, it's there. It's, it's almost there. It's not. It's, it's there. It's almost there. I did much better than what, what I expected. I went beyond my expectations. Above and beyond my expectations. Okay, here I was trying out in the skillet, in a warm skillet, to determine if I wanted to warm it on each side first or just go ahead and cook it straight raw. Um, so I decided just to go ahead and cook it straight raw, but this is I put in a skillet, in a warm skillet, and just to see how it would turn out. But just do it from the straight, uh, straight raw from the dough, from the raw wrap and just fill it with your you know your fillings and just fry it put it in the skillet now i need practice on rolling the the wrap um i need practice with that because you want to secure your ends. You don't want your ends sticking out or anything falling out, which nothing did fall out, but I want to, they weren't that secure. Thanks for watching. If this video has inspired you to take action, then please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel, comment to this video, share this video, and give a thumbs up to this video. We appreciate you. Thank you again for watching.